Two rivals attempt to bridge Zimbabwe's deep political divide by drafting a new constitution in the documentary Democrats, which examines the nation's search for democracy. The film, which director Camille and Nielsen shot over three years, had its North American premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival. When a country has to write a new constitution, it's it's almost like building a nation from scratch, and that's a huge task. And these two men who were appointed to to lead the process had a Sisyphean job ahead of them, and that always makes for for a good film. Paul Mungwana, who was loyal to President Robert Mugabe's ZANU PF party, and Douglas Manzora of the opposing Movement for Democratic Change, share a passion for a constitution to take the nation towards democracy. After 35 years of rule under one of Africa's most divisive figures, seeing these two men, how they worked together, how they kind of bridged the political divide in a very polarized political environment, I, I felt there was a lot of hope. Uh, by the way that they bonded and the way that they communicated and how they navigated through this difficult task. In 2013, Mugabe won a fifth term as president in an election that was endorsed as free by African observers, but denounced as fraudulent by the opposition. I think the main thing I took away with me after three years of filming in Zimbabwe is that the political landscape is much more complex and much more nuanced than what is usually represented in in, in Western media. One of the things that we don't realize in the West is that Mugabe still has a lot of support. He's still a hero to a very large group of people on the African continent,、um, and so I hope that this film can contribute to representing a more nuanced picture of Zimbabwe.、Um, I hope so. <laughs>